Let's go, baby. Three months to go. Down the motherfucking stretch we come, baby. Let's go. Woo! They don't want none. We're not here just to take part. We're here to take over. Get ready. Woo! We are on tour, and we're doing it better than anybody else alive. Cool, cool. Let's go, baby. Where's the... What you doing tonight, girl? Probably watching Grand Slam, is she, Big Joe? Holy shit. Here you go. Holy shit. Wow. Yo, Clint. What? I'm gonna need a magnet. Can you make sure those hands are hot? 180. Holy fuck, dude. This is a little fun case of tiger. Boom! Hey! Let's go, baby! How would y'all we fucking bring the fucking heat, son? Woo! Oh shit! There it is! Oh my god! You fucking fuck! Series X, okay? Gotcha. Don't let it go live yet. I've got to fix it. What up? What up? What up? Time to get up, rise and shine. Got that water on the grind. Woo! Hey, man, putting weight on is awesome. Losing weight sucks. Let's go! We've got some EX to open for Barker, the last seven packs in the box, and then we have five optic contenders. Um, Go my, we have fantasy basketball. If anybody buys one this morning, I'll go ahead and bust it. There's 18 of them. We just got three cases in. If someone wants one, I'll bust it now. Why not? We have two optic contenders available that we just put on the site. I don't think we have any left in the building. Hey, man, the deal with a good car shop is don't ever forget this. It ain't how many cards they have, it's how many cards they sell. Our job isn't to fucking hold them, it's to sell them, baby. Let's go. Woo! Okay. Other than that, Goldmine Series X will be posted up maybe today. Going to be pretty wild. I think I'm going to do 10 monster cards, but this go around, I may try to do it all at once and put the 10 big hits in there. I just don't know. We may do golden tickets again just so everybody knows it's on the up and up because that... We, we would do it where there's one big one in the 50, you know, each time. Or we make all 500, we just throw them in there. Or we'll do the golden tickets where it's random at the end, which is really what I like. Um, other than that, let's bust some packs for a minute. Hope y'all are having a good day. Um, this is a good opportunity for anybody who sets goals and stuff uh, to go ahead and evaluate two things. Evaluate for 2020, you've got a, a quarter of the year left a couple days to prepare for that last quarter, man. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I've seen a lot of mofos in this world come barreling out. Like, looks like they've been shot out of a cannon and end up uh, winning a race in that last quarter, man. A lot of people blow their wide way too early. You know what I'm saying? So for the big boys, for the ones coming down the stretch, hey, you better come on. We going in that right, rookie. Damn straight. Let's go. These optic contenders, do they stay at 549? Uh, that's crazy low. But, yeah, just for – Barker wants them, so just invoice him, okay? Yeah, he bought the last five, so he should get those two. 
Yeah, price on Goldmine Thomas. I'm going to have to pull out the 10 big hits and just do the math on it. I don't think it's going to be more than last time. It might be $10 less, 20 It's just going to depend on those top 10 cards. It's really hard. The thing I don't like is when you put $30,000 or so in the top 10 hits, it's hard on the other 490 packs. It's just there can't be, you know, Brady autos, Jordan autos. We, we try to – we can get maybe one in of each, but – you know, there's a product we need to really come out with that's around that price for you guys that on the daily, it has, you know, $1,000 cards, $1,500 cards. Because let's be honest, a lot of these products we bust, they don't have it, man. They don't. And I feel like that's something that we can do as long as we're buying cards. Um, we, can, we, can, we can make that work for all of us. So uh, better return uh, for you guys. I make more money when I sell a box of Panini cards or Topps cards than I do with the gold mine, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, so you got that invoice sent to Barker. Will you grab those two boxes up front? So seven boxes of Optic Contenders, seven packs of EX. Let's go. Is that... I thought I saw a James in there for a second. I was like, oh, shit. All right, let me fix the camera. We're getting, and if you're worried about COVID and all that stuff, folks, we about ready to get on top of that shit, too. America's just too damn smart. We're not going to keep, it's not going to keep us down. Let's go. No LeBron. Pippen, there's a rookie, man. That's our second old freaking Carlos Delfino. Wish he'd have been the next LeBron. What? The Titans are shutting down all week. Yeah, are they? Three positive COVID. Will they get to play Sunday? I doubt it. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have all kinds of crazy shit going on. Anybody who's got Titans in their fantasy lineup, y'all better check it out. Uh, Sherry's like a savant. Uh, yeah. First fantasy football league uh, ever. She's 3-0, and and she's going to – is that Kobe? Oh, Yeah. I know it's not worth a lot, but I get excited. It's the small things in life. Isn't that right, rookie? Yeah, sure. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Let's go. And Steph. Speaking of Kobe, I did pick this one up. This is uh, autograph number 224. 224 is the deluxe. Kobe. 224, 25, and 26 are on the way. We're going for 248 for both of his jerseys. So let's see if we can't pull it off. Who were the Titans supposed to play? Ah, uh, you got, dude. If she doesn't play, if she has, if dude, if she doesn't have her Steelers playing, oh my gosh. Really mess up some yeah, I didn't really think about that. She just have to adjust and do the best she could. Knowing her, she, she's probably in there right now, like E equals MC squared on there, on the waiver wire right now, right, Rookie? Yeah, right. No, Paul, we're not selling Kobe Bryant autographs for 248, buddy. We're trying to get 248 of them. We have 224 Kobe autos. If you find any Kobe autos for 248, let me know. We'll pull up a Brinks truck, right, Rookie? Two of them. Two of them. We do not do team breaks. We only do personal box breaks. We don't even do. I'm just an old small little card shop trying to make my way in the world, right, rookie? Mm -hmm. We we not we don't we not on the level of these breakers that do team breaks and all the serial. I just don't want to do it. The 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 group breaks we did in the past where everybody got something like maybe a box of flawless. Uh, the Titans have COVID. Three of them. That's been a shit pack so far. No problem, buddy. What up, Anthony? There's an insert of old Paul Pierce. He's always running his mouth. Uh-oh. No, it's a net asset. These inserts are awesome for the money. I went ahead and bought my Kobe. I bought all the Kobe net assets for like five or six bucks, man. They're like five, six bucks on eBay. Sharif Abdurrahim. Um, you're going to have to send him a custom invoice, Ricky, because it's saying sold out whenever he goes to pay for it. Okay. Okay. If you put two in there, somebody else may buy it. Gilbert Arenas. 
Look at that. We got an essential credential. I wish it was Kobe. Good Lord, I bet this card's good. Paul Gasol, 12 of 19. Dang, these things are badass. Essential credential, Paul Gasol. Do, 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 do. Let's make sure we don't mess this card up as I'm trying to pick it up. It's kind of funky how it... There we go. Pretty cool. Hold on, let me get an Ultra Pro for it. All right, let's go. Here we go. There is a Paul Gasol super collector out there that's dying for this card. Memphis Grizzlies. Not draggers. Man, if that had been Kobe. Woo! Kenyon. Reese Gaines. We didn't get an auto out of that box that I remember. Oh, you're not supposed to get an auto in every box. I don't know what I'm thinking. Antoine. Not the real good one. That's Barker's. He's got. This is Barker's. Uh, it's going out today with his order just now. We accidentally left it here when we sent all his other stuff because it was sitting up here. We forgot. So this morning when I came in, I was like, oh, shit. So luckily he ordered, and we're going to open up seven boxes of contenders. There we go. Hell, yeah. Hope everybody's out there getting paid for it. I hope them Southern Hobby Boys are watching, getting a little payment. Getting a little payment. Let's go. Honey, the Mustangs, baby. Let's ride. Anybody from the 38344 watching? Anybody from the three? Anybody who lives in the Huntington City limits, we'll throw another $100 to St. Jude Hospital. Right, Rookie? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't even think it says on average, Barker, but I may be wrong. I think back then it was just like autographics. I'll have to look at the box. Got to currently live there. Let's go. It's my goal eventually to bring a card show to Huntington one time at the Civic Center. Turn back the clock, baby. Woo! Uh, there's a there's a Huntington boy. Go ahead and write us down for a hundred rookie. Who are we looking for? Who bid on these the other night? Stephen who? Um, Steve Osborne. Steve Osborne. The invoice is in your box, man. Pay up. Isn't that right, rookie? Damn straight. It's for the kids. Let's go. Um, flea market on Tuesday. I'm coming home. I figure, I figure Huntington. That's where it all started at B Right, baby. 1984. Omar walked in. Probably getting him the the cheapest gas in town because Omar's like that. And uh, rolled in by the 84 Fleer Cello. Carl Yastrzemski. Let's go. That's where it started. I figure that's where it needs to end. Right, Rookie? Damn straight. Yeah. Always got to be symmetrical, guys. The ladies like it symmetrical, right, Rookie? Even keel, boys. They like the, e they like the, even, the even keel. The even, the perfectly symmetrical. Let's go. What up, Jimbo? All right, so we got $100 to St. Jude this morning. All right. Here we go. We're going to make a push. I hadn't really talked to Rookie or anybody about this, but we're about the next 92 days, I'm going to put a full court press with Hobbybot. We're going to donate a lot of stuff and try to raise what we can. Last year, we raised a ton, and it was over 100000 uh, We'll have to look. We're at 125 right now, guys. I know we just donated 20. They told us, they sent me an email saying, congrats on 20000 for this year. So... We're going, we're, I'm, that's the last thing, man. These, every single goal that I told you, every one of them is set except that one. So I've got to put, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to put on the full court press and see what we can raise. Here we go. Here we go. Redemption. Oh, it's a John ja Morant 101. Big Carl Anthony Towns, big cat. Uh oh. Siakam, 
I like I like that dude for some reason. I think he's cool. He probably gets a lot of Canadian poutine. Here we go. Tyler freaking hero red. Let's go. Boy, put your money on that. Get get that underdog money, boys. Get that underdog money. Uh the the Lakers, they don't like it. They don't like it when somebody's got some some brute force down low and bam out of bio. He ain't gonna play that shit. Isn't that right, rookie? Damn straight. LeBron ain't gonna just be backing people in for a layup. It's on now. But they're huge underdogs, guys. Remember, y'all heard it here first. Take the money. Take take the money and run. Take your take your take your. It's like three sixty to a hundred. Go ahead and lay it. Thank me. Thank me later. And a Kobe White. Tasty to thirty five. Nice sig, dickhead. Let's go. Yeah, Dwight Howard is a little bitch. Here we go. Some of these cards bring a lot more than you realize, man. Russ, big Russ. I think him and James Harden on the same team is a great idea. It's two freaking chucking ball hogs. Uh, that's only one team that won't win the, the championship <laughs> instead of them ruining two teams. Right, rookie? <laughs> oh, James Harden. He's that guy at the YMCA that be pulling up from the fucking half court stripe because he played back in 79. Right, rookie? Here it is, boy. Yeah. I played Hickory. <laughs> Lost by two to Chitwood. <laughs> Swish. It wasn't because of me, though. I didn't deem up. Victor Oladipo. DeJounte Murray to 99. Yep. The guy who always misses the free throw to be team captain. That was my key, man, to be honest with y'all. When I played, I played ball non-stop until about 10 years ago. I fucked up my ankle so bad. I've never, I mean, my, knee, my foot is fucked up when it comes to basketball. I'll be walking down the concrete sidewalk and roll it. So, I mean, I probably need some type of surgery, but I miss basketball so much. But, I mean, when you're five foot, seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there with shoes on about five, nine. Um, and, you, you know, your your game is hustle, hustling hard, right, rookie? It it ain't God giving abilities. He gave me an ability to bust some packs, but he didn't give me them leaping skills. Nice, golly, we need to put an all dickhead team together. And you're scoring yeah. five, <laughs> Luca. Yeah, the guy who's always we shooting free throws for team captain, and this motherfucker always misses, and then is the first round pick because he's like six foot five and can dunk. And the whole time, he's fucking laying bricks, not playing defense. <laughs> All he's about is getting them points. That's, I guarantee you in the summer, James Harden is at a YMCA somewhere literally doing that. That's a bull's intro <laughs> playing in his head while he's out there bricking. <laughs> yeah, that boy right there. I like him better than Russ. I really dislike Russ. Here we go. Oh, my foot, my foot don't look worse than KD's, but it, he, his feet get more uh, shock off the hardwood, get a little better jump than I do. I mean, with feet like that, you should be able to dunk at four feet tall. Those things, I, I wouldn't be surprised if his feet had a brain of their own. <laughs> tippy toes. Boy, on his tippy toes, he grows about a foot. <laughs> <sighs> Goodness, they must have pulled him out feet first, and he must have been lodged in there. <laughs> oh, another Cody Martin. You gotta be kidding me, Caruso. Cody Martin with another sweet sig. Golly, here we go. Big John Wall, big John Wall. Yeah, I do. You got to get muscle. Oh, oh, Shaq, boy. R.J. Barrett. It's pretty cool. I hope y'all are sending y'all's cards into PSA, guys. We have 1,600 there now. We. <laughs> it's only going to take a year or so to get them back, but we lined up and ready, right, rookie? We've been sending 100 or more every week, probably for the last... 10 or 12 weeks, because we have 1,600 there, no joke. Yeah. Vernard Morrissey ain't got nothing on these boys right here. They're all bad. Vernard is the worst of all time. D. Wade and Scotty Pippen. 
uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No. Fucking Goga or some hack. That's the first time that's happened to us. Normally it's a pelican. It's just that Malini guy. Oh, Goga. Makes me hungry every time I hear that name. Yep, Titans and Vikings, so uh, Dalvin's out too. What does that happen when they make a makeup game? Like on an off week? No idea. I guess you're just shit out of luck when your team doesn't play. So I have Juju. Oh, no, they're not playing. Wait. So the Titans and Vikings both, because they played, they played each other now, rolling around on each other, and they all got COVID. Mm -hmm. I know they said like three Titan players and coaches, some coaches. But I wouldn't, you know, I'm back here. Dang. Hey, man, always remember, wear that mask, guys, even if you're playing football, fellas. If you're at the YMCA with old Chucker, you need to wear a fucking mask, right, rookie? Damn straight. I wouldn't handle no basketball right now. Fuck that shit. Scotty and Dwayne. With the fantasy sports basketball, did they have to put anything or you just said order it now? We'll open yeah, it. yeah. We said, we got a couple fantasy sports basketballs, guys. Get them in. I'll bust them. Let's go. Matter of fact, anything we open live. If you buy it right now, we'll bust it. Right, rookie? Yeah, sure. What else we got to do? We got to fucking make some trades with with uh, with Keaton before he he's asleep right now. We need to send him some trades. <laughs> Oh God! He he. Keaton sent me a trade of Mark Ingram. Who was the other player? Do you remember? Uh -uh. He offered me Mark Ingram and I think Hollywood Brown. No, you have Hollywood Brown. Some Malcolm Brown for Alvin Kamara. I was afraid to even touch my phone in fear <laughs> that I might actually hit accept. Right, rookie? Okay. I literally was like, ah, close out the app. Yeah, I'll break it now. It's up front. There's 18 boxes up there. Uh-oh. One of one, boys. It's not an auto, though. It could be LeBron. No, it's red. I think it's Pascal. No? Hell, I don't know. Yo, you got 700 there. It takes forever, doesn't it, buddy? Come on now. At least we got us a one of one. Wendell Carter Jr. What a beautiful card. One. Of one donkey boy. Yahoo! Yahoo! Damn it! What could have been? Oh, Rick Fox. That dude right there got more pussy than you could shake a stick at back in the day, boy. Woo! Good. They they the lady said he was good looking and played ball and had them millies. Woo! That's a combo. That's a combo that's sure to woo. You can't handle enough, can you, rookie? Can't handle the truth. Y'all may not know this, but back in the day, rookie was a high school superstar here in Smyrna. So Switch. he knows what it's like to have a few groupies in there, right, rookie? Yeah, maybe a few. Yeah. No. Oh, come on now, Barker. Slow down. Rick Fox got a lot of pussy, but he wasn't on Gary's level. No. No, no, no. I would say the only people ever to be on Gary's level is maybe John Holmes. That's it. <laughs> maybe. Gary slowed down in his old age a little bit. Gary, y'all got to remember, Gary's 82. He's like Benjamin Button. He's he's getting younger, right, rookie? But he he's still, like Gary was handling biz when he was 82. So he's actually speeding up, but y'all get ready. Hide the women, hide the women, right, rookie? Damn straight. Gary will be uh, offering deliveries here, but Gary says if you will send a headshot of your wife, and if she's going to be home, he will travel within a 500 mile radius, right, rookie? Damn straight. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Tennessee has eight positive cases, bro. That's how contagious it is, man. It's just so contagious. Yeah, Wilt Chamberlain on that level. Yeah. Gary and Wilt. Yep. Wilt Chamberlain and Gary. They The word on the street is Wilt Chamberlain was actually in the hospital when Gary was born just to see the birth. Isn't that right, rookie? Damn straight. Yep. The word on the street. There's a Luca Red. Hey, good old buddy, old pal. What's up, cheese stick? What is it? 
the Diana Titans and Rosini. stuff. They're just shutting them down. Like, the Titans ain't even going to be back in the building until earliest Saturday. Yep. Fucking, we got Derrick Henry. I got Derrick Henry in my other league. This is some bullshit. They should have made something in fantasy football where you could keep your players, put them on our arm, and pick up a In my other still. league, you can do that. I, I, you have two slots for IR. That's a Brian. Brian, we need to change that where you can put players on IR for the year. That's going to hurt everybody. But we'll have to vote on it, right, Rookie? No. You should definitely not be hurt and not have a team. Andre Iguodala. I can't believe the NFL hasn't come out with something. This is what we do with this package. Well, they, they were hoping they were all going to roll around amongst 100 of them <laughs> and not get it. <laughs> It's cool, man. It's cool. It is what it is. Hey, well, here's something to lead you to. I have Austin do it, okay? That's all Barker. The Paul Gasol Essential Credential was pretty cool. Next up, Big Zeke Davis. Let's ride, nation. I'm right here. I already ate my peanut butter crackers and my water. I'm ready to roll. There's Wendell Carter, too. Getting healthy sucks. Here we go. Gary said whenever he's on a diet, he said, yeah, Gary is human. He does have to go on diets. Gary says that's when he goes to a plumper.com. He says the bigger the woman, the more calories he burns. I don't know if that's scientifically correct, but Gary believes in it, and that's what Gary's going with. Isn't that right, Rook? <laughs> yep. Show enough. One time, Gary, one time Gary was needing to lose 10 pounds. 10 pounds in a couple of days for a wedding he was going to be in. So he actually was a guest star on My 600 Pound Life and handled his biz right there. Those pounds came right off, didn't they, Rook? Yeah, it was great. Oh, Colita still calls Gary to this day. Oh, Colita, 80,992. We about to cross over 81,000. We're one order away. One order away, baby. Let's go. Woo. 100,000 coming down the stretch. Zeke Davis, my man, Charleston. He's got a mosaic pack in here. You want me to open it? And a prestige. We should open both of them, bro. Let me know. Dirty. Ooh, speaking of chuckas, that's a nice card. Russ Westbrook Gold. I would love a Kobe like that. John ja Morant. Did you get over it, Ryan? All Gary's worried about, he said, I ain't worried about his lungs. He's just making sure there's no uh, sexual side effects. Right, rookie? Damn straight. Barker bought four. Did you get them? Bought what? Barker bought four. I yeah, guess it's I two and two. two. Yeah, yeah, I got you, Barker. You're coming up. Dirty Jaw, Russ, he hasn't said, okay, he said open them. Let's open Prestige first. Let's just see, Nation. Oh, Harry Giles. Who the fuck? Here we go. It took two weeks for his taste and smell to come back. That's a way to lose some weight, isn't it, Rook? Yeah, buddy. Kyrie. Oh my God. Gary said, Gary just texted me and said he wishes he had lost his taste and smell when he had to go into Colita. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Colita! He said it was worth it. He said at that wedding, he scored three times. It was a granddaughter, which was 19, a mother, 40. And a, and a grandmother that was 59, right, Big Rook? Damn straight. And he said, if that, and you know what Gary said? I said, damn, Gary, 59, you getting up there. And you know what Gary said, Rook? What's that? He said, if they fucking great-grandmother would have been there and she was about 75, I would have done that too. And I was like, what's the cutoff, Gary? Gary said, Nathan, I've never really found a mountain that I can't climb yet. <laughs> I was like, damn, Gary. Yep. Gary, Gary's a believer in 
age is only a number, right, rookie? Damn straight. Yep. He'd have got the great granny. He said as long as she was looking professional, right, big rook? Damn straight. He said if she was wearing a big moo-moo and slippers, hell no. Nah, but at a wedding, he said great grannies. He said great grannies in the 70s. He said they be, they be dressing up extra special at a wedding because they get out about once a year, right, rookie? Damn straight. Yep, get out about once a year. They put on their Sunday best, and Gary takes it off if need be. Gary, call, Gary calls that the cycle. <laughs> All the way from daughter to great-grandmother. Now, keep in mind, there's a very small window for the cycle. Daughter, the, daughter must be 18, and great-grandmother's... Got to be breathing upright, no oxygen tank. He will. He did say he would draw the line if they're on an oxygen tank, right, rookie? Yeah, right. He said they can smoke. He said he don't mind. He, he don't mind licking an ashtray if it's for the greater good. <laughs> he said the cycle. Yep. I think Gary needs a Wikipedia page. Here we go. I'm going to tell y'all now, do me a favor. Do not invite Gary to your wedding nation. We get wedding invitations sometimes. Don't be don't be uh, inviting Gary because, hey, man, all hell could break loose. Right, Rook? Damn straight. This is Barker's four boxes. Four boxes. Everybody knows the rules. Oh, Gary's never gotten the quintuplet. The quintuplet is adding the stepmother in, Rook. <laughs> Gary, even Gary has never hit the, the quintuplet. Hell yeah. God bless Gary. We need, we need to have Lee Greenwood's God Bless America with Gary in the video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wearing a jean jacket on a motorcycle. Right, rookie? That, that is good. <laughs> Season update. Kobe Bryant autos. We got to try, Barker. Mosaic. What the? F hey man, gold mine coming soon, right, rookie? Damn gold mine coming soon, guys. That is a silver. I think DeAndre Ayton's about to come, blow up. Honestly, got you. Open live, Jonathan Mamakos as well. Gotcha. No, he's not banned from the Playboy Mansion. Gary's got uh, what do they say? Carte Blanche. <laughs> Gary, once Hugh Hefner died, him and him and Hugh Hefner were the only two at odds. All the beautiful bunnies loved Gary, right? Yeah, right. But Hugh, did, ooh, dirty. That's a nice card, RJ. Um, once Hugh died, the girls invited Gary with open arms, and Gary's been able to go whenever he wants. Nope, no Kobe. Tayshawn, oh, Chris Paul. I still don't know how they, they vetoed that trade with Chris Paul and the Lakers. Yeah, they, uh, that should have, I mean, that should have been Kobe's sixth ring, man. Chris Paul in his prime. Whoo! You see that team that Kobe won his fifth with? Oh, my goodness. Have you seen a picture of that? The, the actual team? Yeah. I would say half of that team is bagging groceries right now. Nothing against I, I bag groceries. I'm just saying. Woo! I like this. Shaq Diso. Oh, Michael Porter. This is a good pack. Prestige. Is this retail? We opening them. Fuck it. We're having some fun today, guys. I'm not sure if he wants that open line. Kevin not. Hess said. Mamacos. Yeah, we need Hess to respond. Kevin, do you want yours open live? There it is, right there. Open live, got you. Montrez, look at that scratch. Chris Pass, Porzingis, that's a rookie, man. Old school Montrez rookie, and and Porzingis. Yep, they almost traded Kobe to the Pistons. Out of there, bad. Yeah, here we go, guys. Let's hit something good. El Farouk, I mean, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, Tatum, Tatum Optic, and old Jordan Bell. It's got a little bit of an edge. No, that's another nice one. We're gonna have to bring packs and stacks back because I'm enjoying opening the packs.
Where were the cards? I don't see the cards. Like, oh, they're right there. Michael Porter. Okay, they're already over there. Ooh, Optic. That's like a freaking $40 pack. $50 pack. Luca! Dang, Freshman Phenoms, 9-5. No DeAndre. We're going to open these up, too. Any basketball fantasy, we're going to open the packs just because you could hit a monster in one of these. Yeah, Gary. Hold on, Gary's texting. He wants to know if we want to crash a wedding. Now that we've been talking about the the quintuplet, he wants to make a run at it. What Gary said, Gary, Gary just said he called. He called the uh, Murfreesboro Country Club and asked if there would be a daughter that uh, has a stepmom in attendance. <laughs> Gary just texted, it's on. <laughs> hey, I believe if it means Gary can pull it off, I believe me and you show up rookie in our in our three-piece suits. What do you think? Hell yeah. Let's go. Jabari. Uh-oh, Silvers. Oh, Isaiah. Doesn't even say Michael Jordan's the greatest. What a bitter little bitch. <laughs> Don't be a bitch, Isaiah. Yeah. Draymond. Silver and Ocam. This class is going to go down as one of the greatest of all time in a couple of years. Although Luca and Trey can carry their class because that those boys... Wait till Trey Young gets going next year, right, rookie? If he ever gets out of Atlanta. The Hawks are like the Bengals. Yeah. With basketball, you can turn it around. Gianna Silver. Ooh. That's a pretty cool card. And then uh, Zion BGS95. Orange Reactive. Oh, by the way, if y'all have any pink mosaics available, Gary's still working on his pink mosaic set. Yeah, any pink cards, hit us up. Gary started a PC a couple months ago, and he just says it puts him in a happy place. Right, Rook? Damn straight. I remember opening these. Victor Oladipo. Yeah, old school meets wedding crashers. Gary and Blue went to school together. Did y'all know that? If y'all look at Wedding Crashers, the funeral for Blue, Gary has a cameo in there. Doesn't have a speaking part, but him and Blue were big buddies. Isn't that right, Rook? That's a fucking true story. Yep. He was uh, he was really upset with Will Ferrell. He he knew that Blue had a heart condition. Part of that they don't go into in the movie, right, Rookie? Right. You don't push on Blue like that. Yeah, Blue's Blue's ticker had ran its course because Gary and him they went pretty hard. Yep. This is order number, Ch this is Chad Seafelt, son. Hey, and y'all keep an eye out. I'm sending out more gift cards today. We sent some out yesterday. It's going to be a process to send $20,000. That was a little ambitious, wasn't it, rookie? That's what we did. A little ambitious. You got a pink Zion. Gary's got the Zion already. When uh, the day Zion got drafted, him and Gary party down there, and he gave him a uh, preview pink Zion, right, Rook? Damn straight. Yeah, Gary was Zion's uh, AAU coach back in the third grade. 
uh, Zion had a teammate with a hot mom, so Gary took up AAU basketball for a year. <laughs> Things didn't work out, though, right, Rook? Slide off. <laughs> Things didn't work out. Gary said when he pulled over the covers and saw her toes, he literally snuck out in the middle of the night, left the team hanging at the AAU National Championship, had Ja Morant and Zion on the same team. <laughs> third grade, guys. Left them little third graders. No coach. Uh-oh. No, it's, oh, yeah, it's, ooh. Basley Green. Oh, pink. Gary needs this card, Chad Seafelt. <laughs> Gary was telling me he was looking for the Luca pink. Ooh. Here we go. Fantasy is sold out. That means we've got 18 boxes done, fellas. No, we are sold out. If Southern Hobby, if you're watching, this is why we need more boxes, right, Rookie? Yeah, that's right. Oh, T-Mac. So underrated. Yeah. Wow, Hero. That's the one to get right now. If that dude blows up. If they make a run, they get hot, win that series. Oh, my goodness. Gary, in his early days, was a sales rep for Hanes Undergarments. I'm not sure if I've told y'all that either. Tatum Silver. Oh, Wally Zerbiak. Sweet sick, dickhead. Zerbiak. Goldmine Series X will be posted soon, fellas. We're going to go ahead and get this done. We're going to hit them $10,000 cards real quick. Right, Rookie? Damn straight. Patrick Beverly was Westbrook and Marvin. Kyrie. No, Dylan. Dylan Brooks. No, this is the last chance, too. It's the only true gem. I'll see. Wait a minute. I think there might be one already over that. Give me a second before I, I say this, okay? I don't want to lose my shirt. I'm still embarrassed of what's underneath it right now, but I'm getting there. All you got to do, folks, is put in the work. That's all there is to it. If you're a fatty McFatster, I'm with it. The, ooh, they want 40000 for the 1 to 5, the Emerald. The gold somebody bid 25000 on. This thing. Let me just see if one sold or what we got going on before I say it. This is the only true gem. It's a 9 auto. We're going to make it available today one time. Here is one. Oh, rookie. It's already to 17,700. Beep, beep. 9.5. Ours is better. I do like that patch better, though, with the A. I mean, maybe somebody likes this one better, but I like that one better. That's a 9.5 min minimum. Three 9.5s and a 9. We have a quad 9.5. His autograph is better a little bit see it's it's got this little thing too but it's a, they gave it a 10 i might just wait let me see if there's one that's been closed somebody should have bought this i think yeah here's a raw one no 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 that's a gold my bad they're bringing between 10 and 15 before that tyler hero back on september 20th brought 10,000 in the sgc should I sell it? If they win, I'm gonna I'm gonna be crying the blues. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. Fifteen thousand, the same price. If anybody wants it, now's the time. This is the last day. From here on out, we're gonna ride with the. I'm I'm riding with the Heat. I'm hoping. I want LeBron to be three and seven in the finals. Somehow, somebody explained to me how three and seven will be better than six, six for six. Somebody explain that shit to me. Here we go. All right, that that's Chad Seafelt. Chad Seafelt. Ryan S. All right, buddy. You've got an empty one here, but it's because Barker's all in one tote. The four right here, two and two, you'll have an empty tote. It'll be forty, fifty thousand dollar card if that were to happen. Hell, Zion was selling for seventy something. I 
tell you what, Montana's a whole lot closer to Brady than uh, than uh, LeBron is to MJ. So I don't know. I don't really. I don't really go around saying Brady's the greatest of all time. I think he is. Woo woo woo! Yep. Let me know. It's whoever whoever brings that cash cheddar. Isn't that right, rookie? That's right. Jimbo, I think it's a card that could literally double in two weeks if they if if they if they win. Here we go. This right here is Ryan S. Order eighty thousand nine nine seven. Nobody's ever going to argue that LeBron James isn't the most gifted. Him and probably, uh, for the era, Wilt Chamberlain are the most gifted for their era in basketball. Dave fucking Cowens, man. <laughs> That's I don't like that. Damian Lillard, I don't know how much that brings. It's a nice card. I think Tyler Eulis, my favorite Wildcat of all time. Uh, depends how many he scores. If he scores 30 something like he did, yeah, he sure will. A Giannis is worth $150,000. A Giannis RPA is worth 150 grand. I mean, Dude's great, but he plays for the Bucks and ain't ever won jack shit. Bam out of bio. There we go. Let's go. Justin B, 10 scoring titles does it for you. Yes. You must be the guy at the YMCA who's chucking shots where points are important, right, rookie? Bucket. In my house, winning is important. Let's go, baby. We've been doing a lot of it. Isn't that right, rookie? That's right. <laughs> Woo! Just keep winning. LeBron got work to do, son, and that hairline is receding faster than mine, so Father Time is coming. <laughs> Isn't that right, rookie? That's right, for us all. Yep. If Gary says he's the greatest of all time, I know. I'm thinking the same thing, for us. Dave Cowan. <laughs> I say, did Jordan have 10 title, ten scoring titles and LeBron didn't? My bad. I thought LeBron would have had Jordan. There's no way, right? Hell, he only played. Jordan didn't play that long. He was playing baseball for a while. What did he play? 84. He played 84 to what, 95? That's 11, right? And then he took how many years? One and a half years off, right? And then he, after that third title, bro, he, he quit again. I mean, that Wizards run, I don't even count. Do you, rookie? Hell no. I mean, he just old, chilling and grabbing some cash. Yeah. Carl Malone was a bad man. There we go. No, I don't think, I think that game will be canceled. Hell no, there's too much money. There's too much money involved when it comes to these sports, man. They figured out, like, they've really been able to slow down the deaths in COVID. This is a cool card. Paul George. Nice sick, dickhead. Cool card, though. And then an MJ eight and a half. Yeah. So he played, Jordan played 14 seasons total. Brandon Bass. These must be old. Emmanuel, yeah. Karan Butler. Anything we open live, guys, we'll bust. Diamond icons, whatever. If it says open live, we'll open it. I bought a shitload of heroes in the last month or so, didn't I, rookie? I got lucky. I bought 10 or 15 from Brian, all prisms. I bought about 50 or 60 from a guy. They weren't all prisms, but it was different stuff. I mean, you got to remember when you're sending this stuff in, guys, you got to be careful because it's going to be a year before you get them back. 
SGA. This one's Kevin Hess. This was Kevin Hess. 80,998. Go back over it because I don't know if I said. Next up is 81,000. Joshua M. Moutier. Yep. That, that, those two aren't playing. So it'll be four. It'll be two games not being played. My team just got ravaged. For real. <sighs> Kevin Hess. It's going to be wild, man. This whole year is going to be wild. What's crazy with this is, is like, when you get shut down for three or four players having it, hell, two weeks from now, three or four players may get it again, rookie. Yeah. Like, it's going to be all, like, wow. Craziness. Give me a second. We're going to check our DraftKings stock, right, Rookie? Yeah. We've been loading up on DraftKings stock. We think it's the wave of the future. Yep. No, barely up, Rookie. What's up? Stock Tips 101 Grand Slam. We believe in diabetes stocks, right, Rookie? Yep. The world is obese, baby. The world loves them Cinnabons. I love the Cinnabons. So we figure diabetic supplies, diabetic uh, medicine, prevention, or uh, uh, not prevention, but main maintenance that keeps people. Them diabetes socks, they dope as hell, son. I wear those sometimes with my with my orthopedics for my foot, right, Rookie? Yeah, they right. dope as hell. So we buy diabetes stocks. Tandem, son. Always remember we said tandem. That one's up about 40%. Don't get me wrong. I don't want y'all to think we stock gurus. We're not. I've also bought other shit that didn't work out. I bought a fucking Chinese stock that makes video games and some shit, and that's went down. Fucking should have kept my American dollars in America. Right, rookie? America. Yep. Free Hong Kong, baby. Let's go! That's a pretty cool card. I don't know what it's worth. Man, everybody's just grading everything now. I can assure you Kyrie Thomas, the dickhead Sig, will not be in gold mine. I will give that person a $1,000 gift card if we sneak a Kyrie Thomas in, all right? Dude, they're doing... Some of those are retail packs we've been opening, I think. Yeah, those diabetes socks, man. Hey, it's a prevention, man. It'll it gets circulation going, man. Y'all think I'm messing around? Gary's got more tips. He's picked up more shit for us at the nursing home, guys, than you could ever imagine. Gary was buying silver quarters from Mister Alfred for a quarter. Gary was telling him his coins were old. He needed some new shiny ones. Gary got eight hundred and twelve dollars out of his oh Coca Cola bottle. Dude had a Coca-Cola plastic bottle, you know, the ones you get from Spencer's, had 812 quarters in it, 1964 and older. Gary, he sent Gary a box of Hershey almond bars for doing him a favor. Isn't that right, rookie? Gary sat up front, tackled his ass off while he gorged himself on two Hershey bars. <laughs> Poor Mr. Alfred. Gary's taught us all kinds of tricks. Ooh, a dual auto. That's pretty badass. Paul George and Al Farouk Aminu. Gary, um, I lost my train of thought on that fucking shit. It was going to be good, too. It was something to do with Gary in the nursing home. Oh, fuck, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dollar bill exchange. Gary has paid off one of the nurses to rent a six-foot table and do a money exchange system where if you bring him a 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100, for every one of those you bring, he'll give you two $2 bills because he, he said the older people are, are more interested in $2 bills because they used to spend them back in the day. Right, Rookie? Damn straight. Yeah, Gary's exchange. <laughs> I mean, Gary is a savage when it comes to stuff like that. GE, we ain't talking General Electric. I literally said, Gary, why do you do that? And he said, Nathan, uh, do something that you love, and it'll you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> I was like, all right, Gary. All right, Gary. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Gary Vaughn.
volunteered back in 89, back when Nashville was still letting the massage parlors run wild, Gary used to uh, volunteer to be the bus driver, the church bus, the church bus driver for the elderly men. And he was supposed to take him to the Rotary Club, right, Rookie? Yeah, sure. But he had worked out a deal with the massage parlors to take care of the old dudes because it wouldn't take that long <laughs> for 30 bucks a pop. But Gary would charge um, uh, th those dudes 60 bucks. Gary said that he turned that, he put that stock into Apple. He put that money into Apple. Isn't that right, Rookie? Money. Gary says that he doesn't know stocks well. He just watched Forrest Gump, and they made a bunch of money on Apple, and he figured he should too. Right, Big Rook? Damn straight. Yep. Here we go. You never know when I'm messing around with Gary's. There is no messing around with Gary's stories. They're all true. There's no sprinkled anything. It's all, it's all literally. The truth of Gary is going to be a movie one day. I truly believe that. Just a, it's kind of like Forrest Gump too. <laughs> oh my God! Yep, Gary didn't play for Alabama, isn't that right, rookie? Damn straight. He uh, he had an opportunity. He just he chose Middle Tennessee State, but he chose to be a cheerleader rather than um, a. Uh, Football, football player. player, yeah, he didn't. He wasn't interested in football. Gary said, "What's the point of rolling around with a bunch of dudes in tight clothes when he can lift ba beautiful babies up and look up their bloomers?" And I was like, "Gary, the shit you say seems so simple yet so profound." <laughs> Clay Thompson was to ten. Yep. Yes, the last box was eighty-one thousand. I said it. Right before, when I was on the other box, I said you were next, 81,000. This is 81,003, Thomas Judge. I'm carrying on with Gary stories too much. I got to get my order numbers. Oh, Brooke Lopez. Yeah. John Collins is pretty solid. Yeah, he was, he was in it for a minute, but not long. Um, the reason Gary wasn't in Forrest Gump that much was because Tom Hanks was a little worried that Gary would steal the show. So the part where Jenny runs off to her boyfriend, that's Gary. Yep. And uh, uh, the re people don't know this, but the reason Jenny came back to Gary was because Gary set her free. Right, Rookie? Yep. Here we go, Donovan Mitchell, Tyler Hero. Your Facebook user, I don't even know your name. <laughs> Tyler Hero is pretty solid. Thomas Judge, Joliet, Illinois. Somebody bought the last six of them? Five. Five, five of them, Barker. We got one, only one unopened. Okay, one unopened. And then the rest we all. Sean Frazier. I wonder if we can change our league where you can add a player, you know what I mean, to your injured reserve. Because, dude, the whole year that's going to ruin people. Yeah. I mean, what if this team gets it like three or four times? Yep. I mean, it's, it's possible. Yep. I mean, if, the, if you get it in here in the playoffs. Yeah. That's right. 81,005. Sean Frazier. Titty tap! I just I figured they would have, like, expanded the roster. What, what are they saying, Matt? And my buddies are telling me what they're saying on 104. Make up the game. I wonder who got Ain't no telling. We talk about this all the time, man. It's a selfish world, man. It's a selfish world, so people sneak in booty into the bubble. Yeah, RW increased bench spots. We only have six bench spots in the Grand Slam one. That's crazy. We should have done more. Anyway, 81005. We'll get it down perfect. We're having a blast. Sherry is in the lead. Here's a good card. Sean Frazier. That's 
That's a true gem plus. Hell yeah. Zubak. Yeah, if you want to check out the prices, guys, and the pre-sales, they're cheap right now. These are like $150 a box now. I keep trying to do Collector Club and keep it at $39.95, but that shit isn't easy. Press proof to 99 PJ. Isaiah. Just expensive, man. No, he didn't date them all. He banged them all. Big difference. Gary didn't believe in... <clears throat> Gary learned a long time ago. Gary gave us some advice when he first got here. He said he would go out on a date, and if a woman ordered the most expensive thing on the menu, he would just go to the bathroom and climb out the window. He wasn't interested. Right, Rookie? Damn straight. There's a Donovan Rookie. That's, that's a good box. Sean Frazier. 81005. Next up is Big Sean. Big Sean! All right, Nation. Should we throw him a deal real quick, rookie? You know what? Since y'all are watching, the 305 of y'all, everybody else is sold out. They won't put them on, right, rookie? Damn straight. Let's go! We've been $100 below. We were $200 below. They're raising their price. They already told me that we'd be getting that intel, right, rookie? Damn straight. NFL Prism, boys. Get ready. I'm going to throw a case on today for y'all. One case. It's one per person. We're not doing two per person this go around. Partially because we don't want to want to run the risk of the USPS or UPS losing it. Fucking animals. One per person. If you buy two, we're closing. We're going to refund both of them. You can ask people. We've done that. One box. We're keeping it the same price for you guys. Should be on the front page. One per person. For y'all watching, carrying on, listen to me carrying on about Gary, y'all deserve a little little respect, right, rookie? Damn, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and throw one more little special off for him for all that. What do we got? What's what's coming out in the next couple weeks? Is absolute football on there? Yeah. What day does it release? It releases. I'm gonna blow it out and give y'all a hookup. They're selling it for three fifty. We're gonna go down. We're going to hook it up today only. Uh, we'll do two boxes. It re absolute releases uh, October 7th. So it comes out next week, guys. We're going to put our foot so far in their ass, they're going to get mad. You ready, rookie? Damn straight. The only way to do it, boys, is where it hurts. It's going to be a two-box max, $125 below the lake boys there you go 225 to 350 hey we right here baby 38344 let's go 225 to 350 aye 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 let's go we're not here to partake are we rookie yeah. Bowman draft have we loaded that yet rook that's one I need you to load. 2020 Bowman Draft. People love that stuff. We'll get it loaded today, guys. We can't put a whole lot on because they cut that every year. Now, this is Barker's five boxes. 81,006. Oh, no, man. We good with that. And I like I like running the risk of getting electrocuted. Right, Rookie? Damn straight. Yeah, we do need a new cord. Look at that. we got an eagle eye, doesn't he, Rookie? Yeah, yeah, there goes one. Within a minute, one is gone. They'll be gone in 10 minutes. Go back and check in 10 minutes. It'll say zero from right now. It'll say, and that's what 12 people have, have, we have. We could sell them all to one person probably in one minute, but we're trying to spread it around. Do what's right for the group, for the collective. Trey Young. Yeah, get paid. If your boss don't take care of you, you need to be fucking filling out resumes, right, rookie? Damn straight. Sending that shit off on Indeed. Indeed. 
Yeah, I check. I check Indeed every week just to make sure Rookie and Gary and Bryant and all them ain't putting their application in somewhere, right, Rookie? Better have your shit straight. <laughs> <laughs> got, to, got to keep your head on a swivel. Dame Lillard. Damn, that's beautiful. To 457. Mark Gasol. Yeah, that's a nice Jordan. I like the Trey Young better. Speaking of Trey, Donovan, Jam Masters. Jam Master J. Gary also was a shoe salesman back in the 80s, and he's actually the one who sold Run DMC, their Adidas uh, shell shoes. Right, Rookie? Damn straight. Gary's the one who offered, told them. He brought them out of the back. They were fresh, right out of Adidas factory, brand new, new style. Gary said, these will make you famous. Yep. And, and Gary says, listen, you need to listen. Isn't that right, Rookie? Damn straight, write it down. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Y'all have filled up a whole gigantic trash can this morning. That's crazy. Your animals. Your animals, nation. Let's go. Is this the last order, Rook? Yep. Okay, here we go. Woo-wee. Let's go. Illusions. Devontae Graham, red, white, and blue. And a Zion Silver. Damn, here's a couple tasty packs. Let's go. I like the Devontae Graham, too, but I know I love that $1,000 bill, yo. Wow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we appreciate it, man. It's, this ride has been a lot of fun. I was thinking about that this morning. This ride has been a lot of fun. De'Aaron. Bogdanovic. Nothing, 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 nothing. Give me just a second. I got to finish this water off. Uh, water keeps you healthy. Here we go. This is box three. Yeah, this right here has been a nice run. Zion Silver is good. KD Gold Shimmer. Damn. Will you take that trash out too, buddy? Yeah. Have you got a customer up front? Not right now. Okay. Cam Johnson Pink. Gary's working on this set as well. That's a centered cam too. No KD. Luckily, a Panini has chosen to cut out Kevin's feet on all cards now. Some mothers had called and complained their children were having nightmares. Yep. Kevin Durant. Possible E.T. is still around, right, Rookie? Damn straight. Hell yeah. James Worthy. Luke Kennard. That was the Wildcat kid that I told you was a big Wildcat fan. The Duke kid I couldn't remember was Luke Kennard. Pretty sure it was either him or Singler, but I'm pretty sure it's... Con it might be Singler. I'd have to look again. Rui! Wouldn't be a Barker break without the Rui! Trey Young. No, his feet... Kevin Durant needs to go on that show where they work on people's feet and stuff. Oof, I saw that the other day and about spit up a diet do. That is some gross shit, man. Just fucking nasty. 
sad. I feel sad for people, man, that are going through that. That's crazy. Yeah. Y'all didn't know that that's Kevin Durant's foot on our logo. <laughs> yep. A cartoon. We didn't want to put the real thing on there. There we go. Austin's got a big wrestling match coming up. When is it? The 24th and 25th. The tw October. Yeah. It's really unrealistic to think that a football team's not going to have a player with COVID on it, rookie. Yeah. It ain't happening. Yeah, there's fucking... They should have did like the NBA and had locations and bubbles. And... Yep. It's going to be pretty wild, man, to see how it all shakes out. Mm -hmm. Porzingis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To 75 and Basley Noir to 99. Yeah, we didn't want to be sued by Kevin Durant. He's kind of a... He's like, a, he's like an ambulance chaser. Brogdon. Oh, James Harden, high octane. Luca. Joel Embiid. All right, last box of the morning, fellas. Hope you got a little. I hope you got an Eggs Benedict and a little massage. I hope one of y'all, it would make my day if one of y'all had ended up in the copy room. Isn't that right, Big Rook? Damn straight. Yeah, man, tell her. Tell her you need to make a few copies, but you hurt your hand last night, right, Rookie? Hurt it bad. Yep, hurt it bad. Here we go. All right, let's rock and roll. Mosaic, Culver, Dirty. Dirty Jaw. This thing has got something in it. Yeah. Yeah, there's something in it, all right. It's Torian fucking Prince. Oh, Jimmy. Torian Prince. To 99. Yeah. Woo, it's a pink pack. Gary loves these. Anderson, oh, Paul George, and Garland. All right, Nation. Culver, I did show you that, yeah. Culver's to 49. Nice sick dickhead. All right. All right, all right, Nation. We'll catch y'all later. Hope y'all have a good day. Scoop you up some sales. Holla!